Hi friends, I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we will discuss about how to load Parquet file into Snowflake via S3 bucket. So first of all, let me tell you about Parquet file. As in previous videos, we have discussed out about how to load CSV files. But in real time projects, generally we are not using CSV file. In real time projects, we are using some compressed file format. There are different types of compressed file format which Snowflake supports. So for example, Parquet, Avro, ORC, okay. So here, what we are doing here, we are using here Parquet file format. So, so this is my data, which is present in my Parquet file. So let me show you, if you are trying to open this Parquet file, so data will be visible like this way, okay. Okay, so this is my, this is the data, so which we, we are supposed to load into our snowflake via s3 bucket and it should be end-to-end -end automated okay so first of all so so we have to create our my database okay so as whenever we are creating any of the database in snowflake by default one schema is assigned to it that we call it public schema okay so this is my public schema once so one more thing if you see this is the data which we are going to lo load it so on the basis of this data we have created one table so in this table we, we are we will load my data so in this table if you see we are having three columns continent country and city and data type of city column is in variant why because this data is in array file format okay so uh, array data so that's why what we are because in the single column we are having multiple cities paris uh, nice Marseilles, canes all these things okay so that's why we have created it it as a variant okay so this is the variant data which we have loaded here so after that whenever we are creating any uh, snowflake accounts by default one warehouse would be assigned to it, that is compute warehouse if you don't want to use this where virtual warehouse you can create another way uh, virtual warehouse okay but right now we are using this compute warehouse okay so once uh, we are done with all this part setup now what we are supposed to do we have to create one file format so in in case of csv what we are mentioning here csv and after that we are uh, mentioning this what is by uh, is separated by comma or tab or pipeline or uh, uh, skip header equal to one or two all this thing we are supposed to provide but in case of parquet we have to just provide my uh, type uh, type of my file once we are done this part what we are supposed to do we are supposed to create one storage integration so in uh, while creating a storage integration we have to provide one arn number okay so this arn where we will get this arn we have to go to my aws okay and there we have to create go to my im inside im we have to get one role so this is my role okay if you haven't watched my previous video i would suggest please go to uh, go and watch that video how to create these roles so once we have created this role what you are, we have to supposed to do we have to select this as the full access and all these things we have to provide once we are done this part we will get this arn number okay then we have to go to my snowflake and there we have to provide our arn number okay okay this is my arn number for this role okay so once we are have created this storage integration so after creation of storage integration what will we we have to do we have to run this query describe integration and my integration name so it will provide me number of values but we have to mainly focus on these two rows i am user arn external id for this i am user arn i have to go and just copy this value and then go to my trust relationship inside the role edit trust policy okay and this i am user role in case here we have to provide my this sorry we have to go and provide this part okay and we will we have to put one more thing that is my we have to we have mentioned this thing now we have to go to this part okay external id just go and copy this part now go to my s3 bucket sorry im roja role and here 
we have to provide this external id name once we are done this thing okay without this you will not able to see that file in your s3 bucket so this part we have done role part okay once we are done this part so we are okay with my storage integration now after storage integration we have to provide our external stage stage so in that stage what we have to first provide we have to provide my url in which url my file is present okay let me go to s3 okay so inside the s3 we have we have already have this bucket so inside this bucket what we have to do i have to load one file okay so what i will do i will go and okay and just upload this thing so once we have uploaded this file i have to copy this path okay and paste this part this is the same path okay so inside this directory whatever files are going to come it will get loaded one more thing so this is my integration object name and this is my file format which you have created above okay now let me go and create this stage or it does not exist or integration we have created okay Data load parquet file format we haven't created. Let me go and check my file format. Okay. Along, let me go. Let me run this again. Create or replace this. Okay. So we are done with my external stage creation. Now after that, what we have to do? We have to just click on this list. We are we are trying to see whatever files uh, are present in my external stage. In this way, you can see this is the file which is pointing to my external stage. Okay. So this part we have already done in our previous videos. Okay. So here we have to take care of our new things here. Okay. First of all, if you want to see query that file. Okay so by using list command you have seen okay this is the my file name but if you have to see data inside that table what you can do you have to just query this select star from parquet okay my external stage name so what it will do it why it is not coming here let me see here uh list external stage parquet cities okay so let me just remove this part okay if you see so this is the parquet file we, by using this list command we are able to see what is my file is present okay and by using the select star from it is showing me like a a data which is present in that file so it is coming in this one more thing you have to uh, see here uh, whenever data is coming it is showing column name with dollar one okay so while copying this uh, data into my target table this is very important uh, step which we will see uh, further so this is my data okay now to to query that if you if i want to see individual data in a uh, like uh, <coughs> park cities and uh, uh, let me remove this part okay see so here uh, this is europe europe it is coming in relation, relational format right now okay now once we are done this part so what we have done here whatever data was present in my parquet file format now if you see snowflake uh, like if you if you are trying to see that in my uh, text format it is showing me some random some comp like uh, encrypted format but if you see here uh, here we are able to see data in my or relational format okay one more thing so we are able to see but our goal is to load this data automatically into my uh, table okay so let us see so for that generally what we are supposed to do we have to create one copy command okay so if i am just running this copy command okay let me first copy this thing okay so this part okay let me do to write run this copy command okay okay 
それあれは、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、あ、そりゃ、We have done this part. Now, one more thing. Here we have done it manually. We have executed this copy command. Okay, but we want this to get automatic ingested. So, generally, then we are, what we are supposed to do? We have to create this pipe object. Okay, so we have to run this pipe. Okay, so we have executed this pipe. Okay, so what this pipe will do automatically? What whenever new files are coming to here, it will load data into my Uh, <clears throat> table right now, if you see here, we are having only three rows, okay. And also, like uh, in my staging area, uh, like when we have queried here in the list files, we we were ha having only one file here. So, let me try to do one thing. Uh, let me try to rename because uh, this auto ingest will work for new files arriving. Let me change it to city one. Okay, and let me try to load new files again. So let us go to city park. We are already having okay, and here, uh, one more thing, it will not work right now. Why? Because like we have created here this uh, pipe. Uh, pipe. So once we have created our pipe, as we have already told in previous videos, after creation of our pipe. What we are supposed to do, we have to run this describe pipe command, and here what we will see, we have to see this notification channel. So we have to copy this notification channel, okay, and go to my S3 bucket, okay, and inside the properties, okay. So what you are supposed to do, you have to go here, and if you see, I have already created, but you haven't seen, let me show you. You have to create one notification channel here, okay. So inside the notification channel, what we are doing here, we have to provide one our channel name, event name, okay, park event which I have already created, okay, and here you have to select this option for all type of files or data activities, and you have to select this SQS queue, and inside this SQS queue, you have to provide your SQS queue name, okay. So SQS queue inside that what we have pasted here we have pasted our value which has come from our notification channel and let me save this part okay so now what will happen securely this connection has been created and also it will be get notified now let me load the file add files and ct1 right now this time what file I have loaded ct1 okay now let me run this thing now let us go to here if you see here let me go to first list the, the files so if i am trying to list the run this list command if you see two files are coming here okay but in my table uh, right now there would be only three records so let us wait for few seconds so after that what will happen uh, like uh, after that my three new rows should come from city one okay if you see here now three more rows are coming okay this these rows are coming from uh, like um, city one file one more thing so suppose what we are done if we if we again try to run this copy command or anything what will happen it will not load the same file again and again why because snowflake maintains it, its uh, history in in its metadata like these files have been already processed okay so i hope that's all from this video so here what we have discussed so far we have discussed uh, what is my parquet file format okay and inside the uh, parquet file like uh, we have discussed about how to load the data and everything we have discussed so far okay and uh, okay so this was my file this was my database we have created we have created this public schema table name okay we have created this part we have created parquet integration and after that we have uh, pasted these values which are coming from my past uh, describe integration uh, command into my im role 
and after that we have created this s3 bucket uh, inside pro uh, provided the path of my s3 bucket and loaded all the files and so uh, uh, in this way my data which is present in my parquet file is it has been loaded into my uh, database by in relational file format so one more thing like in this video if you if as you have seen manually i have placed the file into my s3 bucket so in real time generally what uh, business are having in real time projects they are having some ffts setup so through there they are placing some files in s3 bucket or they are having some web application or some some golden gate replication from there those files are coming into s3 bucket and after that we are doing this part so that's all from this video i hope you like this video thank you